Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So let me tell you guys what I've been doing for the last two months. So for the last two months, I've been traveling around Asia with a friend and I've been to Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and I'm currently in Cambodia. So for the last two months, I've been traveling a lot and doing my job at the same time, which is why and how I can actually afford traveling for a longer period of time without having to go back to Sweden. And that is just the reason like my job allows me to be whatever I want to be and still do my job at the same time. During this time, I haven't been uploading any videos at all. And I felt it was the time to start uploading some more videos. So my friend has left back to go back to Sweden. And I'm currently gonna be alone for a long period of time. I'm not quite sure how long I'll be traveling around for, but I'm actually gonna try this new form of content while traveling. So I'm gonna do some vlogs and in between the vlogs, I'm also gonna talk about my work, what I do, uh, and give you guys some advice on what you can do if you also want to travel uh, and just work at the same time. Just being able to work whatever you work, wherever you want to work. Uh, so that is gonna be the main premises of this new content. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's just head out and uh, see what there is to see in this city. So I got to this city yesterday. Uh, I went from Singapore and just Singapore itself, I really wanted to vlog it, but I just didn't feel like I wanted to, honestly. Uh, I just enjoyed the city, walked around like the amazing city, very westernized it is. And it's like crazy how much technology they have. They had ro uh, robot cops just swishing by on the streets uh, with cameras on them. Uh, and just everything was amazing. So. I'll make it back for you guys by starting this new condom vlog co concept and uh, we'll see what's going on in town. Uh, but yeah, I got here yesterday and I haven't really left my room. Uh, I had to do a lot of work when I got, uh, got to the hotel yesterday. So I ordered room service. I didn't even bother to leave my room at all. Uh, here you got my setup that I'm currently using. And yeah, I got my chair as well. Uh, so that's what I've been doing and here's my room. And the, qu the thing with Asia is that everything is so affordable. So this room cost me barely anything. Uh, and it's quite a large room for one person only. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of messed it up already. Uh, but this is what I've been working with for the last 24 hours. And it's in, the Wi-Fi is actually not terrible, which I'm surprised about. It was actually not terrible at all. So I could actually get some work done. Uh, and that is honestly the main thing that is most important to me is that if I don't have a good connection, I cannot work. Uh, so I, I kind of have some limitations on where I can work. I still need Wi-Fi. Uh, and in most of these undeveloped countries, it's kind of hard to find a reliable uh, connection. But unfortunately, this hotel actually had a good connection. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, let's head out. Let's see what we can find in the area. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Enjoy. to try to find a SIM card for my phone because uh, I didn't really have any time yesterday uh, at the airport and I didn't have any cash and there was no ATM so uh, the most important part is finding a SIM card so I can actually use my phone for stuff and Google stuff, restaurants and whatever uh, so yeah, let's just find a SIM card
odd thing about Cambodia is that they apparently use US dollars. Even though they have their own currency, they all seem to use uh, the US dollars. So every time you do an ATM or a withdraw, all you get is US dollars. So we'll see how that works. Uh, since US dollars doesn't really have a lot of change, and I don't think they use the coins, uh, so you probably don't get any change for anything. So I just got $100 in cash. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, I really got no idea what, co what things cost here. Uh, so we'll figure it out, but yeah, we'll see if they have change for $100. So I got my SIM card fixed, that was quite easy. Six dollars for, I'm not quite sure how many gigabytes I got, but I got a SIM card, it's working, it's fine, so I can use my phone. Um, now I'm kind of just thinking about just wandering around the streets, uh, and we'll see what I find, but I might go to the temple today, uh, but I kind of felt like saving it for another day, because I'm gonna be here for two weeks. Uh, but yeah, we are figuring it out. Everything's actually surprisingly cheap, even like the waters like two Swedish crowns. Uh, even the alcohol is quite quite cheap actually. Beer for $1.5. A dollar beer. Pretty good. So that was pretty interesting. I paid a dollar for my water because it was like 25 cents. And as I said, you don't use coins. So the change is in their currency, which no one accepts. So. We'll see if I get to spend this somewhere. My plan right now is kind of to get like to the city center to see what's going on down the center. And I normally do this when I get to a new place. I try to kind of discover the area. So I'm trying to like walk around the street, see what's going on, see where everything is. Just get used to the place. And since I'm gonna stay here for 14 days, I better get used to it. So uh, I'm kind of just having my way around. And uh, apparently there are a lot of co-working spaces here, so uh, I'll definitely check out some of the co-working spaces as well uh, when I get the chance to. Saw in that last clip there was a Porsche. I've been seeing a lot of very nice cars, like very expensive cars around. And I think it's so odd um, that it, this country is so undeveloped and you still have like still a lot of rich people uh, moving around which is really weird to me but i'm kind of guessing that some of them might be corrupt i have no idea but it's, it's really odd you see a lot of poor people kids running around the streets uh, and everything is just very undeveloped and all of a sudden you see a porsche uh, i saw a range rover so there's a lot of crazy cars so i wonder what these people are doing or if there are like chinese people living here, uh, which could be one thing. Uh, I'm trying to, trying to figure it out. I'm gonna see if I can see the next driver, what it looks like. <laughs> Maybe ask what it does. We'll see. is that I was just walking down the street and all of a sudden it came up with this I guess like train car uh, that gives free rides to the mall so I just took it and I ended up at the mall and uh, just pretended to shop for a minute for a few minutes and I got a free ride uh, but yeah I saw this on, on grab and I'm kind of tempted to check it out and you have a grab remorque or whatever it's called I'm not quite sure what it is. They have Tuk Tuk and Grab Remorque. Oh, I think that is like, um, oh, it's kind of like a Tuk Tuk with a mo or a scooter uh, with a thing at the back. Oh yeah, I'll probably check that out uh, while I'm going back to the hotel. But yeah, right now I'm kind of just checking out everything. Uh, right now I should be somewhere uh, close to the city center. So let's 
see if I find some kind of square. Uh, but I think this could be like the square, like the main area. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take a look around and see what I find. Oh and yeah, check this thing out. <laughs> a big pink, big pink monkey all of a sudden. That's kind of random. Not really, not really so much culture. So it has started to rain, but fortunately, I actually got an umbrella, uh, which I got in Singapore because it was important uh, for like the whole my whole trip. Uh, but yeah, I got my umbrella, so I'm doing good. Uh, we'll see if I find like a restaurant somewhere. Uh, kind of feeling like taking a smoothie or sitting down uh, because it's definitely a lot hotter than it's been in a while. Uh, Indonesia was cold. I went. I walked around with a hoodie and jeans. Uh, Singapore. It got a little bit hotter, but still. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely getting hotter uh, the further up you go. It's humid. So, I'm trying to find somewhere I can sit down. Alright, so I think I kind of found like the city center. Um, we have like KFC and Burger King and whatnot. And there's a lot of people down here. So, yeah, I think this is kind of the city center. I'm gonna walk around, see what's going on. Uh, I actually stopped at a convenience store. And got a drink and some toothpaste and some hair gel like the essentials I've been missing for a while our toothpaste just run out today uh, so yeah we'll see what's going on but I don't really have any plans I feel like I'm kind of just wandering around but kind of enjoy that that the most out of all things just when it comes to traveling just walking down the street looking what people are doing and just taking in whatever culture you find along the way, right? So that's what I will be doing. Hopefully I'll find a park or something where I can sit down uh, and just chill for a while. And then uh, maybe grab some lunch. I yeah, found this small market, like inside marketplace. So that was a great, great getaway from the rain. So it started raining again. And the worst part is every time it starts raining, I have to put my camera in the back, and then take out the umbrella because I can't walk around with both of them. Uh, so yeah, that's a struggle every time it starts raining. And I'm guessing it's raining season because since it's raining season or monsoon uh, in Thailand, it should be the same here because it's so close. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get towards like some kind of restaurant. I'm kind of getting hungry, and I want to try some local food possible they had some at the market but most of it kind of looked like fried chicken and for some reason most Asian countries seems to love like fried chicken for some reason in KFC I know it's like huge in China and even most of the countries I've been so far uh, all I've had KFC and uh, all of other restaurants with the uh, fried fried chicken essentially and even vendors selling it on the street so for some reason uh, that is the meal everyone loves. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find some local food and we'll see what happens. So I'm back in my hotel room right now. I'm gonna show you guys some clips on like what I did. Uh, but I ended up finding a restaurant. I ate some food, took a coffee, and I just took a tuk-tuk back to the hotel and slept for two hours. I just took a shower. Uh, and I'm just really tired today, so this vlog is gonna be all like fucked up and stuff. Uh, but I just wanna tell you guys or talk to you guys for a bit, because this channel has had so much different content. The channel has had everything from gaming content to highlights to Twitch stuff. Uh, and finally I made it my own channel about myself and if you guys subscribe for the other content that has been on this channel before uh, feel free to unsubscribe if you feel like this content is not for you but if you enjoy it please stay along because I really want to show you guys uh, what my life is like and also show you guys what you can do give you advice on what you can do in order to do whatever I'm doing just traveling and working at the same time 
and getting the experience of just seeing the different places over all over the world been a goal of mine for a very long time and I finally feel like I've been going on the right path uh, and I, f I don't feel like I made it but don't get it like I'm not I'm not a millionaire uh, but I can do stuff that I love and I feel like that is important to actually show people that you don't have to be a millionaire in order to travel around Asia uh, you can start something uh, and make enough money in order to just live your life the way you want it to not everything is about being a millionaire not everything is about making a ton of money somewhere along the line you have to decide do you want to sacrifice your whole life to making money or do you want to make money the smart way uh, and have enough to do whatever you love doing uh, and my passion is traveling and meeting new people and seeing different cultures and yes getting new experiences uh, and i finally feel like that is what i've been doing uh, for the past two months and probably for a few months uh, for a few more months, right? So yeah, that's the content gonna be on the channel. I'm not really doing anything special today, I don't think. Uh, I don't have any plans for tonight. I might find some people to hang out with, uh, or I just walk around the streets, see what's going on. So in case I don't vlog anymore uh, for today, uh, this is gonna be the video. So if you guys uh, enjoy this type of content, uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a like comment what you guys want me to improve on. I know that I'm not the best at vlogging, uh, but it's kind of odd walking around with a big ass camera uh, talking with yourself. So I'm gonna have to improve on that one. But other than that, the content is gonna be on the channel is vlogs, uh, what I'm doing during the days, uh, and also a lot of my work stuff are gonna be included into these vlogs. So I'll talk about what I'm doing, uh, give you guys some advice on what you can do, and just give you guys some inspiration because I feel like I want to be the person that's actually real uh, on YouTube talking about business stuff for uh, young entrepreneurs interested in creating something for themselves. Because a lot of people talk about their drop shipping uh, or whatever it can be that made them a millionaire in 30 days. Uh, but you don't have to have those high expectations because obviously a, a video talking about how to become a millionaire uh, doing, uh, with drop shipping uh, that gets a million views. Do you think a million people that watched that video actually become, became a millionaire? Uh, not really. I want to give you like true facts, what you can do, ways to build an income around something that you love doing. Uh, and that's kind of what I feel like I want to do with this channel. So if you guys enjoy, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys tomorrow because I'll probably vlog tomorrow as well. Well, thank you guys for, guys for watching and yeah, peace out.